Hello Virgo and welcome to your first half of September general tarot guidance with me Julie Paul. Hello, welcome. Get yourself a cup of tea, cup of coffee. It's tea and tarot time with Julie and happy birthday. Uh, my birthday is on the 9th of September. Anybody share a birthday with me? Let me know. This is for the first half of September. Now we're still in Mercury's shadow. Okay, so bear in mind that. Um, and also today, as I'm recording, they're still in Mercury retrograde. Bear with if I make a mistake, okay? All right, my beautiful Virgo, let's see what we have for us for the first half of September. General guidance. This is the wisdom of the oracle. All the cards I used are linked below, okay? All right. Along with the, they're just telling me to, along with the equipment I use, if anybody's interested. Okay. We've got chaos and conflict, number 33 never-ending story we've got loyal heart and no place like home all right okay okay let's see what the tarot want to bring us let's have a look this is the tarot of dreams for virgo please first half of september this is good for virgo sun moon rising venus and cross watching okay and I'm going to link at the end your money and career reading where I am now. So if you haven't seen that yet, take a little look at that. OK, we've got the world under chaos and conflict, which I'm loving. We've got the lovers, the ace of coins and the page of wands. Right. Let's add in some more tarot. I'm going to use the tarot royale. Um, tell me more for Virgos. I'm really happy to see that world there. Okay, all right, that's what we want then. Okay, which way? Right, well, the way they came out. Okay, that one's going there. And I, all right, okay. All right, this is interesting. Look at this with the Queen and the King of Pentacles coming out together. Oh, very nice. Virgo cards here coming out, money and prosperity okay this is mine from hoping to having wealth and success for virgo please okay i am comfortable with being wealthy and successful let me just get it to focus there we go i let go of all fear surrounding my success okay good good let's get you we want three this is my from hoping to have an original deck for Virgo, please. Okay, I choose forgiveness. This makes sense with this on the table. I choose forgiveness. I forgive all and align with harmony and balance. All right, because we've got some emotional pain going on here that is coming to an end. All right, let's, we'll find out more. I want one of these. Uh, thank you. Okay. Abundance. These are the everyday spirit guide oracle affirmation cards. And it says abundance, rich inside out, generous money flow, prosperity is on its way. Now, that's lovely, especially when we've got the king and queen of pentacles coming out together with the ace of, of coins, pentacles and coins, same thing. Okay, so let's have a look what we've got on the deck then. We've got three major arcana cards with the high priestess, the world and the lovers. Now, the five of cups is a card of sadness, never ending story related to a loving relationship or what used to be perhaps a loving relationship and isn't anymore. But let's find out some more. Okay, we've got the forgiveness card as well. This is relevant. We can't always find it in our heart to forgive somebody for hurting us. But if we can just tap into the energy of forgiveness to just allow it to flow through, you benefit so much from it. You really, really do. Okay, so we've got chaos and conflict, number 33. 33 is a master number of growth and expansion. Okay, you've got sort of half pony, half um, zebra, not quite sure what it is. It's this transformation energy that we're talking about because 33 is a master number of growth. And when we're growing, we're transforming and changing and shifting and morphing into, you know, something new, something different, something else. So we're going through and we've been going through this transformation, this shift that has caused a bit of chaos and conflict. 
Now, when we're going through healing energy and growth energy, it can be uncomfortable. It makes us want to make changes. What used to fit doesn't fit. We need to change this, change that, change the other. But as we come into Virgo season here now, first half of September, strongly right in the middle of Virgo season, it feels very strongly, and the cards are supporting it, that the transformation that's been taking place over the last 12 months is now complete. It's time now to embrace the new version of you. Love it. Okay. Um, all right. So particularly they're saying since the eclipse season started at the end of March, we had months, didn't we, of turbulence and shifts and changes and changes in behaviours and attitudes and relationships and aha moments and seeing things more clearly. It's created a little bit of this chaos and conflict, but that is now coming to a close. The world card is major closing, major cycles finishing, closing. They're talking about the last 12 years and now they're talking about the last 26 years. Wow. OK, that's kind of a Saturn return thing. All right. It's, it's talking about the shift and changes that has taken place over a long period of time is now coming to an end. So. We are trusting and listening to our higher self, to that higher mind, to that higher vibration, listening to that and really allowing your inner voice to speak and guide you. The high priestess is our intuition, our higher self. But it's also about what's hidden and things coming up to the surface so that we can really see and deal with stuff. But there is a shift here. This first two rows is talking about you've gone through healing and changing and morphing and transforming and it feels as if that has been hanging around for quite some time because next to the chaos and conflict you've got the never-ending story and this fairy sitting on top of this kind of hourglass egg timer thingy all right underneath where she's sitting is the heart in a bit of a bubble and it's 37, that's 10, 10 to completion, and we come down to a one, to a new beginning. And this is related to past loves, all right? We've got the lovers underneath with the five of cups. The lovers isn't always about romantic relationships. It talks about choices and decisions. But in this case, because of the never-ending story in the five of cups, I am relating this to past broken hearts. If you have found that you consistently um, go into relationships that hurt you and damage you, um, that you keep being drawn to the same sort of people, this is the time where you're saying, I am so done with that. That is not happening anymore. It's time for forgiveness for myself, all right? Because that's one of the things, our, our biggest weakness, and also it's a bit of a strength, is the way that we're so self-critical. Self-criticism can be helpful because it, it helps you to take responsibility. But when you're beating yourself up, you know, oh, I was so stupid. Why did I ever get involved with that person? Why didn't I see it sooner? It's like, take the lesson from it, take the growth, but don't beat yourself up. Because what's happened is that your heart got ripped out of you here, which is why it's in that bubble underneath. And yeah, it happens, you know, but it's time for you to put the heart back in where it belongs, into you. Because there has been pain in the past. That five of cups is regrets. Regrets are a complete waste of time. Take the learning, take the growth and say, okay, I learned from that. I'd never make that mistake again. And I know now that the priority is me. The priority is being loyal to myself, to my dreams, to my own heart right, loyal heart. This couple of owls here looking at each other, forming that heart. This is about loyalty to self and loyalty within a relationship. And because we've got the king and the queen of pentacles underneath, I'm feeling for many of you, this is the beginning of a new relationship for you. Now, 
let's just look at this. There's definitely love on the table for those of you who want it. The king and queen of the same suit is always a divine couple, a divine counterpart. So this, especially because it's Queen of Pentacles is the Virgo card. With the King of Pentacles, this is a beautiful match. Those of you open to love, Virgo, it's here for you. It's time for your heart to come back into you, for you to let go of the past and forgive the past and allow yourself now to move into a new era, a new time, a new relationship. Now, those of you married, coupled up um, in, you know, a reasonably good relationship, you're connecting here on a deeper level than you have done potentially for years. It's really coming good. It's coming into this feeling of wholeness and completion. This chaos and conflict, you might have been, some of you have, they're saying, been single a very long time and had perhaps given up on love or said, you know, I'm never risking it again. But that wants to come to an end now. So we're allowing ourselves to get into the energy of abundance, both financially and emotionally, so that we are abundantly in our value of self, being loyal to yourself and allowing the new beginning to start. And it wants to start, it wants to start really early in September, the Ace of Coins can talk about a new relationship that's very solid and stable. I know it's coins. People tend to only think of coins as money, but it's far more than that. It's anything that gives you a really solid, stable foundation. It's very earthed, very grounded, very Virgo. So we are stepping into a new beginning. Now, for some of you, that can be a new job. And, you know, beginning a new career, a new chapter in your working life. So be loyal to yourself, to your dreams and also your worth. The Queen of Pentacles knows her worth. She's prosperous because she values herself so incredibly highly. And when she values herself, others do too. So you're in this, I value myself, my heart. I'm being loyal to myself and my new beginning. When we see the world and any aces or the fool, especially around birthday time, it's perfect because this is your solar return. The last 12 months is finished, it's closed out and we're stepping into a brand new year here. So what do I want to achieve and manifest during this year? I want abundance in all its forms, financially, emotionally and in love and connections and relationships. So we're moving into this new beginning and there's new opportunities here coming in with that page of wands for passion, um, for enthusiasm and energy. And for some of you, this is a new job. OK, you're opening up to a new job, a new career. I'm going to link up at the end where I am here at the moment, um, your career reading, money and career reading for September. So if you haven't seen it, check it out. Um, because we've got potentially here new love, new job, and we have a new home as well for some of us. Number 55 is a change, right? So we've got this strong energy of change. No place like home is, you can see the house there being picked up on a crook and being, being moved. Okay, so I'm moving in September. I don't think it's the first half of September. I think it's likely to be the end of September. But, um, you know, if it happens earlier, even better. Fabulous. Okay, so some of you are moving. You're being picked up and moved to a different location, a different place that's going to create new opportunities for you with that page of wands. You could potentially be, be meeting a new partner. Um, particularly when we move home because we're getting to know new neighbours and tradespeople that you could be having in to do stuff for you. I know I'll be getting in an electrician and, a, you know, various other people to help me make that house as I want it to be. So you're meeting new people. It's going to give you opportunities to open up to that prosperity, that abundance, that joy and potentially a partnership. This is very exciting. Okay, um, just asking, is there anything else they want to say about these cards? 
No, they're saying clarify. Okay, I'm going to use the Rider weight deck just to find out a bit more. I want to clarify the world and the lovers. Tell me about the world card, please, for my Virgos. We're ready to move forward. Eight of Wands. That's the victory, the success, the moving forward. It's the minor arcana equivalent of the chariot. So this is good news. The brakes are off. We can start moving forward now and we can close out that old cycle. We can close out that um, chaos and conflict. It's time to move on. Tell me about the lovers. No, too many, too many. Okay, that one, thank you, we love that. Nine of Pentacles, another Virgo card. So, Nine of Pentacles is mini Empress energy, financial flow, financial abundance, independence as well. Some of you are coming out of a relationship, okay, with the lovers, the never-ending story. If this has been your story about a relationship, marriage, long-term committed relationship that has been in chaos and conflict, um more than it's more conflict than it's it's loving it's time for that to come to a close and for you to be on your own all right it's time um to say look i'm done with that now i can't be doing with this anymore i'm ready to be on my own and stand on my own two feet and provide for myself um that's for some of you we've got relationship loving relationship ending well it's not loving anymore which is why it's ending um for others of you you are moving through that together and out the other side after what has been challenging and for those of you single open to love fabulous time to meet somebody that is absolutely right for you with the king and queen there together okay tell me more look at that turn of cups happy days we love to see the Ten of Cups in any reading, especially on that Ace of Coins. This is the happy families, the happy home, the happy together. This is just all the dreams coming together. We've also got the King of Wands. Bottom of the deck, I'm going to take it. Ten of Swords, there's the end of that difficulty with the Queen of Pentacles and the Page of Wands again. And then there's the Fool and the Ace of Pentacles again. The tower is here saying this is meant to be, this is meant to happen. You are ready to move on, Virgo. You're ready for this new beginning. The ace of coins coming out twice is a double confirmation. The queen of pentacles coming out twice, double confirmation. Page of wands twice. And now finally we've got the fool. So the end of that betrayal, struggle, stress, difficulty, done with it. We're absolutely ready for our new beginning. So let it fall, whatever needs to fall, let it fall because it's done. This chapter's closed. We're ready to step into the full. This is fantastic and really exciting. One of the best readings I've done for the, you for a while. And I'm very happy to see that for you, Virgo. All right, let's get some final messages from the angels then. This is the Oracle of the Angels. You are never alone. Look at them behind you, the angels holding you, guiding you, supporting you, loving you, being with you. All right. You are being held as you move out of this old chaos, this old repeated pattern cycles, done with it, closed it, don't need it anymore. We're ready for our new beginning. Nice. And this is the um, unicorn cards, magic of the unicorn. Listen to your heart. Double message, triple message about heart. We've got heart here and here, and now we've got it coming out from the unicorns, okay? So we're going to listen to your heart, awaken psychic abilities, tune in to the infinite. So you're listening to your heart, the messages in your heart. Your angels are around you. You are listening to your heart. Let your heart guide you, Virgo. Okay? Let your heart be your light. Be your voice. We've got Jophiel with forgiveness again. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Double message. So let's just stay with this for a minute. Jophiel with forgiveness. You are being asked to forgive the past to forgive your past mistakes and if you can to forgive others because it frees you and so as it says on my card here all right hope from hoping to having i choose forgiveness 
I forgive all and align with harmony and balance. You are being asked to forgive. And I'm also getting for some of you, you're asking to be forgived. Forgived. Forgiven. All right. I'll always say something wrong when it's Mercury retrograde. It happens every time. It's like you just watch Julie Pill get all her words wrong about every four months when Mercury goes retrograde. Forgiveness. Please forgive yourself and others because it is through that that so much joy and this new beginning is the other side of. All right. So Virgo, that's what I have for you for the first half of September. Have an amazing birthday for my Virgo sons. I'll be back mid-September with your second half and I'll put up here now your money and career reading. Have a little look at that. I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.